Here we have the cost of producing X luxury recliners is given by the C of X. So C of X stands for total cost for producing X luxury recliners for this. And again, we're given a domain. We need to stick with X values between zero and 2000. We're not going to suggest that they make 5 billion of something. They're only capable of making between zero and 2000 of these luxury recliners. So we want to figure out what is the actual cost incurred in producing the 201st and the 401st recliner. So just in practice using the formulas that we know. Um, so actual cost, it's always nice to write our formulas again. Actual cost for nth unit. We need to know these formulas. You will not be given these formulas, so I would write them down as often as possible. So if you want to know a specific unit n, you'd plug in n into the total cost and subtract plugging in n minus 1, um, the unit before it. So we want to know for the 201st and the 401st recliner. So we're going to plug into it twice. Lots of practice here. So for the 201st recliner, we want to know the 201st, so we're going to plug in C of 201. Find the total cost for all 201 and then subtract plugging in 200 into the total cost formula. So I'm just going to grab my calculator and have to plug into it twice. So I'm going to do 200,000 plus 265 times 201. So the total cost for all 201 that I'm getting is 253,265 minus I'm going to plug in 200 for x. And I'm getting 250,000 even. So the difference between the two is $265. So it costs $265 extra for that 201st recliner. So we're going to interpret this. We're going to say $265 is the actual cost to produce the 201st recliner. Okay, so if they're selling these things for $250, that's way too high of a production level. It's costing them too much money to make that many. Maybe they're having people work overtime or they just have more um, resources that they need to produce that many and they shouldn't do it if they're only selling them for $250. But if they're selling these luxury recliners for $3,000 or something crazy a pop and it's only costing them $265, yeah, bump up your production level. It's worth it. So... Comparing it to the 401st recliner, I would pause this video and plug it in yourself. Make sure you get the same answer. Practice again using that same formula. It's a long one. Plug in the number you want to know. So in this case, the 401st minus plugging in the number before it. You're plugging into this total cost function here and seeing what you get. So for plugging in 401, you should get 306 thousand two hundred sixty five dollars that's the total cost for all 401 recliners to be built minus plugging in the total cost for all 400 is three hundred six thousand even so what it's costing them for that one extra is 265 dollars again so that's our actual and because we plugged into c that's cost we're going to be plugging into P later, and that's profit, and R is revenue. So we have $265 is the actual cost to and for cost. It's for producing or making. So to make the 401st recliner, just that 401st one, costs an extra $265. So we, they would compare that to what they're able to sell it for to see if it's worth it. But for this one, we're just practicing marginal analysis. So we're going to compare it to the marginal cost, which should approximate the actual cost and just do it as a faster kind of shortcut way. We want to remember marginal approximates actual for the next unit. We're going to write it because this is probably the hardest part of the section. So marginal cost is going to approximate the actual cost for the next unit. So first of all, we need to find marginal cost. Marginal means take the derivative. So I'm going to take C prime of X, and that's going to be marginal cost. The derivative of 200,000 is zero. 
It's a constant. Derivative of 265x is 265. So our derivative is 265 always, kind of a different case here. So if we plug in 200, like it asks, so it says plug in 200 and 400. C prime of 200 is just going to give us 265. So we want to re remember, marginal approximates actual for the next unit. So this 265 means the approximate... actual cost to produce just the 200 first. Remember, next unit, 200 approximates the 200 first. The approximate actual cost to produce just the 200 first recliner is, and our output is money, $265. So it's an approximate, but we did it perfectly. We just found the longer way of doing it, that 200 first we did in part A, the long part, um, we got 265. So this derivative did a really good job approximating. We got the exact answer. If we compare this to C prime of 400, the other piece that it asks about, if you plug in 400 into our derivative here, well, the derivative is 265 no matter what x is. If we we're just doing a general interpretation, another way of saying it is the estimated... actual cost to make just the 400 first, always the next unit. So we're estimating the actual cost to producer to make just the 400 first recliner is $265. So it does a very good job estimating we got the exact answer that we needed. So there's some marginal analysis, plugging into actual cost and then marginal cost, seeing that marginal does the same thing as actual, it just does it a lot faster. So it's a nice tool to have. Now we're gonna switch gears to average cost. So remember average cost has a formula. So first of all, math average we would denote it with a bar on top. So we're going to do C bar of X. That means average cost. So you want to label it correctly. And then our formula is total cost divided by X. So I'm going to take the total cost from above, which is 200,000. Divide that by X plus 265 X over X. There's our average cost. We can leave it just like that. If we have to take the derivative, if we have to find marginal average cost, then I would obviously want to rewrite that as 200,000 X to the negative one plus 265. We could simplify it, um, but let's just see what the next part asks. So the next part says, what happens when the, to the average cost when X is very high? So when X is very high, it gets a very big X number you wanna produce more and more, what's gonna to happen to your average cost of each recliner? So when we have this problem, we're gonna kick it back to exam one material. We want to take the limit as X goes to infinity. When X, when the production is very high, what is happening to the cost on average? So we're gonna take the limit as X goes to infinity, we wanna produce more and more recliners, what's happening to our average cost? And we're going to take it of this function up here. So I'm going to keep it as 200,000 over x. And then the next piece is 265x over x. I might just write it as plus 265 since those x's cancel. So thinking about this limit at infinity, we want to remember top heavy, bottom heavy are equal. Well, this piece, 200,000 divided by x, is bottom heavy. x is going to infinity. We're dividing 200,000 by something infinite. We have way too little. This is just going to go to zero. It's bottom heavy. It's like bringing $200 and saying, let's split this between all students at a university. You're not even going to get a penny. So even that big number is divided by x is going to infinity is going to go to zero. And as x goes to infinity, 265 is going to always just be 265. So when we plug in infinity here, we'd get zero for the first term plus 265 for the second term. 
So our answer is going to be 265. So as production levels get very high, the average cost of each recliner goes to $265, which we already kind of could have predicted from our answers before, just looking at plugging in 200 and 400, it stayed at 265, um, but taking the limit at infinity will give us that definite answer. That as production levels get very high, the average cost of each recliner goes to $265. So that's something to keep in mind as they're coming up with their price point for these luxury recliners.